there's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Form a U-turn when possible. No, we're not U-turning. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? What's up y'all Tiffany outdoors here today I want to talk about small businesses at the time of this recording my job announced to us several months ago that they're packing up our department and moving to Mexico as hard as that sounds there's still a possibility and a chance that a lot of the people from my department including myself can still have jobs in a different department in the same within the same company. Um, I really do hope that I get to stay on. I've been there for 27 years, but it's part of factory life. Factories shut down, they close, they move on. So, in knowing that, I had to very quickly find other ways of making money. I need revenue. I need to make sure that I can still pay for my house. I just bought a truck a few months ago. I just, I still have bills. And as much as I love doing YouTube, I love it and I'm not going to stop. It's not going to pay my bills. Um, the money from YouTube is very, very tiny for me, at least for my channel. My channel is still small and I love it. I love that my channel's small. I love that I can still put out videos and not worry about making money from YouTube because this was never a money thing for me doing YouTube videos. It was things that I wanted to share with you guys because it was things I was doing anyway. So in order to keep up with my bills and things that I like doing, I've decided to do some other other businesses. I'm not going to stop YouTube. I'm just going to make that clear. I'm not stopping YouTube at all. But I've started an eBay business. Right now the eBay business is small. I'm selling as a hobby. I'm a reseller. Well, have become a reseller. And I plan on launching a YouTube channel just on that. It'll be separate from this one. Um, so I'm excited about that. But um, this is... Uh, the money that I made from just last night while I was sleeping it ain't much but it's sixty seven dollars and eighty eight cent more than I had when I went to bed so and I'll talk more about the eBay side of things in on when I launched that channel so just be patient that's coming uh, Joe and I today are going to go and pick up some tables that I found on um, Facebook Marketplace. That's a really good source of finding really cheap things. I've picked up a vanity, a side table, and I'm going to go today to pick up two folding tables. They're the six foot by three, four foot folding tables. $7.50 each. So, can't beat that with a stick. But anyway, I'm going to process these orders, get this stuff shipped out, and I'll be doing a separate video on that again, like I said. But, yeah, that's things in a nutshell. Also, in addition to the eBay business, I've got some ventures going on. So i got my main job, which is now possibly, potentially, a temporary job at this point. I got YouTube, eBay. My friend and I are starting or trying to start up a um, horseback archery business. We're working on that. I've talked to some lawyers and getting things going with that. That's so exciting. Of course I'll be documenting that. Um, and what else? Oh, I'm thinking about starting a lawn business too. So I have all the equipment and things to start up a small lawn business that um, will potentially help me 
filling any financial gaps that might be coming my way. I don't know. I don't know. It's a scary situation losing or potentially losing my income of 27 years. It's uh, absolutely terrifying, to be honest. Absolutely terrifying. But I think I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I, st I have 401k. I have a pension. I've got... I've got a little bit of money in savings, so we'll see where it takes me. But anyway, I am going to document my journeys and all the things that are coming my way this year, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, all right, I'm going to process these orders and then um, go pick up those tables. I'll see you guys when we get back. We are back. Y'all, those tables. I should have known. The guy seemed a little flaky in the beginning on the comments anyway. So when I get there, <coughs> first thing was they weren't even answering the door. We were standing out there ringing the doorbell and then I started knocking. Finally, a guy comes to the door and is like, can I help you? I say, yeah, I'm here for the tables. He's like, what tables? I said, um, I have a message. Somebody, Freddie. Gave me this address, said that they've got two folding tables. This guy goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I started walking away. I said, okay, never mind. Thanks anyway. He goes, wait, wait, wait. Let me call my son because I believe he's the one you probably talked to. I was like, don't know. He's like, I'm just going to say this right now. He doesn't own anything in this house. He has no right to sell anything in this house, and he's not here. He's not answering his phone. So, there's that. Sometimes that Facebook and Craigslist, people on there are flaky. So, we lost out on that deal, which was okay. So, Joe and I decided to take that money that I was going to spend, and she had some money. So, I took that $15, and I went to... We went to another Goodwill that's uh, about 45 minutes away. So we went out to do that. Y'all, Joe found an excellent thing to resell. I found a candy dish for $1.99. Those are going about $13 bucks plus $12 shipping. Uh, the plate that she found, I'm going to have to show it to you. Hang on. Okay, so you said what? So I looked up this plate. Yeah. I found this exact plate that I paid 99 cents for that sold last month on eBay for $199. $200 for that plate. One plate. At Goodwill. At Goodwill. For 99 cents. 99 cents. And then the this second plate, plate. made by the same person. I didn't look it up, but after I seen the price of this one, and it's made by the same person. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting this one. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. You might even be able to put, set those two together as a set or sell them separately. Either way. I don't know. I think if I sold them together for one ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Huge return on investment. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put these on now. Yeah. Not waiting. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> And I got this vintage candy dish here. These are, like I said, they're going for about 13 bucks. I paid a dollar 99 for it at Goodwill, so not a bad, not a bad investment. Nice ROI. Very appreciative of that. It's a little dusty. I'm gonna clean it up. There's no scratches, no chips or anything taken out of it, and uh, it's in excellent condition. So this should sell really well. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Not so happy about the tables, which, like I said, the guy was acting a little flaky to begin with and playing around, so I should have known. But hey, you win some, you lose some. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.